The Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mohamud Yakubu, has admonished political parties to always avoid crisis during primaries to prevent a pre-election crisis. The Chairman also asked parties to stick to their proposed dates and modes of primaries for certainty and optimal deployment of resources. The INEC boss bared his mind at the first regular quarterly consultative meeting with political parties for the year 2024. So far, 16 political parties out of 19 have indicated interest in participating in the election. I urge political parties to adhere strictly to your proposed dates and modes of primaries. Frequent changes, as we witnessed recently, during the Edo primaries are not only disruptive, but costly. The Commission cannot mobilize, demobilize, and remobilize our officials for the monitoring of party primaries for the convenience of political parties. Parties should stick to their proposed dates and most of primaries for certainty and optimal deployment of resources. Similarly, political parties should avoid acrimonious primaries. Increasingly, the conduct of parallel primaries and the emergence of multiple candidates is a frequent occurrence. So too is the tendency to grant waivers to candidates who were a few days earlier card carrying members of other political parties and nominating such persons to the commission as their candidates for election. Some of these infractions lead to unnecessary litigations among party members in which the commission is always joined as a party. The legal fees and cost of producing certified true copies of documents can be used more productively in other electoral activities by both political parties and the commission. In his response, the newly elected chairman of the Umbrella Body for Political Parties, IPAC, Yusuf Enteli, used the platform to push for improvements in Nigeria's electoral process while highlighting persistent issues plaguing elections in Nigeria. IPAC commends the leadership of INEC for the performance so far and so much still needs to be done to improve the nation's electoral process that will drastically reduce post-election petitions and litigation. Just as council will engage leaders of political parties on strict adherence to international party democracy, to internal party democracy, sorry, in the nomination of candidates for various elective offices which will in turn reduce pre-election litigation. It is unfortunate that funds that should have been deployed for, uh, for different party politics and structures in the country are spent on avoidable litigations that distracted, disorganized, disrupted and destabilized activities of most political parties and eventually change of leadership. Most of this factionalization and imposition of candidates are sponsored by notorious godfathers and reactionary forces from other political parties to ensure they conquer the electoral process. As we prepare for the forthcoming governorship elections in Edo and Ondo State and subsequent polls, IPAC will partner with INEC and stakeholders in the electoral process to further consolidate our democracy and restore Nigeria dignity and prosperity as the great arsenal of democracy in Africa. I thank you. This meeting between INEC and political parties is coming at a crucial time in Nigeria's democracy with upcoming elections and ongoing economic difficulties. The populist expectation is high, which in turn mounts pressure on stakeholders to ensure a more transparent and efficient electoral process.